If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, hit the little button down there and click the subscribe button. Love to have you along for the journey. And thanks for watching this video. Today I really wanted to go over on mental burnout and a couple ways to prevent that because it was something that was really important to me and something that I noticed nonstop is when we get really excited and passionate and motivated about something, it's all or nothing so many of the times and we want these instant results and it doesn't happen that way. And having just awareness of what's going on and, and having a plan is so important because if you don't plan, you're going to burn yourself out. You're, you're going to go gun ho at this for a couple months, whatever it is that you're, you're going after with me, for example, mental illness and suicide awareness and, and just making people feel not alone. It can be really mentally draining and mentally frustrating and it's a lot. You're, you can get to the point where you are really burnt out. And so how to really prevent that, what I found is a couple different ways. One is you got to have a plan. You, you got to have a plan so that you don't get burnt out. And what I mean by that is, you know, every day on Twitter, I post up uh, these videos where I reach out and tell people, hey, you know, if you need support, whatever it is that you're looking for, you know, hit me up. And I end up talking to a lot of people throughout the day who do. But, you know, it's one of those things that I have to plan it out and schedule it because if I don't, I forget. If I forget, then I don't get motivated. And it's one of those things that you have to keep yourself accountable to because what I've found is, especially with sobriety, is, is probably the biggest way I can relate it. You get really, really motivated when it first starts and you want to change the world and I have this great idea and let's just go at it. And you, you watch like Gary Vee and Tony Robbins and these guys, people are machines and they just... How do they do it? They don't stop. Well, you got to have a plan to go into it, and you, and you got to have patience. It's not immediate, immediate results. Uh, it's a slow process. I mean, when I first started this, I, I started it back in the end of April, and I had to take it just day by day. It, you got to remember not to burn yourself out when it comes to how much energy you put into it each day. You schedule your day out. Schedule it out in increments, so set an hour aside here, set an hour aside here, and make it just consistent every day so that you go, like for me, for example, when I wake up at 4.30, I start my coffee, and the first probably hour I'm on Twitter, I'll respond to you know any of the posts and stuff that I have responses to, I'll go onto YouTube, respond to any of the comments or any of the messages, go onto Facebook, and I budget an hour for that, and then I go and start my day, and I start it with my workout and, and walk. If we don't budget like that, though, and we just want to do it gun ho believe me, you can do it for a month. A month isn't a problem. Two months, you start to get a little tired. Three months, it starts to fade. Four months, you're gone. Um, if you don't plan it out and you don't schedule it, it's, it's just it's rough because we're filled with so much motivation and we want to change the world and we're going to change the world. And then when we notice that it's just not happening extremely quick, let's face it, we lose a little bit of motivation. And motivation is everything. You got to look for the little joys and the little accomplishments to know that you're doing it right and to know that you're making that, that difference. The other thing is that I found out, you got to have some self-maintenance time. It can't be whatever your passion is or whatever it is that, that you're, you're so motivated to do. It cannot be that 24 hours. And I learned that. What happens is we get all excited and motivated and passionate about something um, take sobriety, for example, all motivated about sobriety and we're going to do this and we're conquering the world and I'm changing my life and this is wonderful. But what ends up happening is we start to discard all these other areas of our life. And if you're in a relationship with a partner, um, your work, you start to shift your direction just towards whatever your passion is. And you start to suffer in those other areas and it's a snowball effect. You don't notice it right away. What ends up happening is down the road now 30, 60, 90 days is when it starts being brought to your attention that, hey, you know, your work might be slipping or your relationship starts to slip and, and it starts to become an apparent problem that starts to involve our life that all of a sudden takes all of our attention away from whatever we were passionate about to try and fix what we had just started to ruin. So make sure that you take days off from whatever it is that you're doing. And if you don't want to take a day off, that's fine because Tony Robbins and all these guys, they don't take days off and they just keep doing it. Then at least schedule a day that's a lighter day. That's what I've had to do. I, I schedule my light days. My light days are Wednesdays and Thursdays. I'll usually do a blog up on Wednesday and, I, and I'll do a YouTube video up on Wednesday. But it's... It's a lighter day where I'm not going to be on Twitter a whole lot. Um, I'll, I'll reach out to anybody that reaches back out to me or, or anyone that needs help or anyone that texts. 
but I, I also make sure that it's a, it's a me day where I can do the things around my house that I need to do to keep my house in order. Because if my house isn't in order, my life isn't in order, I can't help anybody. I can't, I can't, whatever this mission is, I can't do the drive that I had. I don't have that passion. And, and I start to have this little bit of anxiety and, the, and this anxiousness that builds up. So make sure that one, you're scheduling out your day. If you don't have a day calendar, if you're not using notepads to do a to-do list, go get them. I put links down below of, of the ones that I use and plan out your days, schedule them up and budget your time for them. I mean, time, time management is the biggest management. I wish they would teach that in school. I wish they would teach in school and have a class solely on time management and how to manage your time throughout the day because it's one of those tools that we're never taught. You know, if we plan it down hour by hours, even when we're at work to manage our time, we're so much more productive. And when we schedule in breaks, because it's, it's not being selfish, it's not being lazy when we schedule in a break, it gives us that self-maintenance and that recoup time to then go back at it with all the passion and desire. So, you know, sit down, schedule out that day, plan in those breaks, you know, plan out your week so that you know what's happening. That's why I like the YouTube channels and stuff, as this one's, I'm working on it growing, and I watch a lot of these videos, everyone's, you know, post consistent video, you know, on a certain day. And I get the concept, I understand where they're coming from. And right, they're a lot more successful right now, channel wise, than I am. And so I go, okay, well, why are they doing this? What's the mentality behind it? Well, it's, it's all planning it out so that you're consistent. Just like with whatever your passion is and whatever your drive is and whatever you're trying to spread the word for, you want to be consistent with it. Uh, the biggest consistency factor that I keep is, is my reach out videos on Twitter. Um, it's extremely important that I'm consistent at it. And it's usually, I'm in California, so it's pretty much 7.30 right around there. Every day at that time, I post one up. And it, it, it's a little goal when you, when you do it and you accomplish it, you know that you achieved it. It makes you feel good. And you know what, whatever the results are, the results are. And if you're not getting the results that you want and you've only done it for a day, two days, maybe even a week, don't change it yet. Because if we change it and we, we keep looking for that instant gratification, it's not going to come. Instant gratification doesn't happen anymore. I mean, you could get lucky and you do something and, oh my, oh my goodness, it's a huge hit and, it's, and, and you just change a t bunch of lives. But I have never heard of a, just a success story happening overnight. And even with this, I, I look at, at the small accomplishments of, okay, well, in April, I started with, you know, zero followers on Twitter. And, okay, that's up to 1,700 already. Yay. And it, it's been, you know, four months almost. Slow it down, you know. Live in those little accomplishments. Live in those little joys. Don't burn yourself out. But make sure that you have that time for yourself. And it's okay to take a day off, too. You know, on your days off, make sure that your day's off. And don't expect everybody to get on board and be as excited as you are. A lot of times we have this passion and we want it to, to flow over to everybody else. And it doesn't work that way. It's our passion, not their passion. So remember that. So, you know, whatever your, your drive is and whatever you're, you're passionate about in life. Like, again, I mean, I'm huge on suicide awareness. I'm huge on mental illness and sobriety. Make it yours. Give it all that you got. And give it all the time that it deserves it the correct way. Because when your house is in order, you're in order, your time is managed out, you can actually be effective doing it. So I hope that these tools helped you out. I hope that you got something out of this. It's all about people helping people. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, hit the subscribe button. Love to have you along for the journey. And you know what? If you have any questions or concerns uh, or any, anything that you want help with, make sure to comment down below. Um, I'm very active on here. I actually comment on a lot of other videos and stuff that are out there. Well, comment down below uh, with any questions you have. I'll, I'll hit you back up and answer them for you. Because you know what? When, when we get in this together and we do this together, it makes it so much easier, especially to know that we're not alone in what we're fighting for. And we all have a passion inside us that burns. And when we're doing it together and we're, we're using each other's knowledge and tools, amazing things happen. So thanks for watching this. I hope you got something out of it. Click the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet. And check out a couple of our other videos. If you find one that really makes sense or, or, or you get a benefit from, you share it with a friend. Because together we can do this. And it's a lot easier to go not alone. Uh, having the support is everything. So have a great day today. Check out another video. Subscribe to our channel. Let's make a difference.